Hi everybody, it's Tom from Vehicle Visionary and today we're making our first visit to Genesis of Shreveport to take a look at the 2022 Genesis G70, the 3.3T. This is a rear wheel drive car and I'm going to tell you what, it was an impressive experience to check out a new model we've never had our hands on before and here is what you can expect. Quick acceleration from the V6 engine, some first-rate upscale design touches, great warranty coverage, and lots of features and technology for the price that you pay. For the 2022 model year, the G70 gets a comprehensive update. And on the outside, we'll take a look at the refreshed styling that includes a larger shield-like grille to better align its appearance with the brand's latest models, such as the G90 large sedan and the GV80 SUV. Interior upgrades are also on the list of changes, including a larger 10.25-inch infotainment screen that I must say is very nice to use, very easy to learn, and there are more premium materials. The new touchscreen is a great improvement over the previous unit and its new features such as the natural voice recognition and over-the-air software updates make for welcome changes even though it wasn't necessarily something that needed to change but Genesis did a great job nonetheless. On the advanced driver aids side of things the G70's new highway driving assist system uses lane centering and adaptive cruise control to take the edge off of those longer highway drives. And here is my favorite part. You are also in for quite a fun experience when the road starts to get curvy. This is among the sportiest cars in its class, by the way, thanks to lively handling and strong engines. The available 365 horsepower V6 is particularly rewarding. It produces a lot of power and solid torque numbers. This engine combination is mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission, but you won't be able to get the manual anymore as of the 2022 model year. And it's simply because, well, there just weren't enough people buying manual transmission models. MPGs come in at 18 miles per gallon city, 27 on the highway, and 21 combined, and a rather impressive 4.8 gallons of gas should be used for every 100 miles you drive your G70. 0 to 60 is in 4.3 seconds, quarter mile in the 1230 range, or 12.3 seconds, and top speed comes in at 167 miles per hour. And what about on the practical end of things? When you open the trunk, you've got quite a bit of space there. You can maximize that by folding down the rear seats. Cargo capacity comes in at 10.5 cubic feet. But the real action starts when we really start to take an in-depth look into the interior because it is significant. With the red stitching and all of the red contrast throughout the interior, the red seat belts, it just screams performance. And it's not just a facade. It really gives you a good idea of what you are in for when you take this G70 with the 3.3 liter V6 out on the road. And you'll find out when we do that in our test drive. You also have the sunroof which is a little bit larger than conventional size, and overall a very elegant look from front to rear. And that includes the LED quad headlights that are greatly accented by the LED quad tail lights, just really bringing things together with an overall great and racy looking exterior design. And when it comes to the driver's perspective, you will notice a very nicely laid out instrument cluster. Everything looks modern. There's a lot of information you can obviously go through via the steering wheel matic controls. And there are those nice large shifter paddles that will definitely make it a more enjoyable experience to row through that 8-speed transmission on spirited drives. And obviously connectivity, there is wireless charging as well a very well put together sedan to say the very least. But one of the most important aspects of answering the question is the 2022 Genesis G70 the ultimate sport sedan? 
is to take it out on the road and do a test drive. Let's do that now. One thing before we hit the road for our test drive, I want to show you something really interesting here. It says sounds of nature, so I guess if you want to have kind of a, I don't know, almost an ASMR driving experience, check this out. There's several different ones here. <laughs> Open Air Cafe. Let's see what that is. <laughs> that, this is the first time I've ever seen anything like this. Now, on a cold day like this in northwest Louisiana, here's what we need right here. Ah, it feels warmer already. And Snowy Village. That's what it really feels like outside. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Okay, I have been looking so forward to this. These G70s, you have the 3.3 turbocharged six cylinder under the hood, are so fun to drive. So the handling, even though I can't test it as aggressively as I'd like to in here, we'll get a little bit of an idea on handling right here through the little curves right here in the road we're driving on. Residential areas, so I don't want to go too terribly fast, but it'll give us an idea of how well the G70 sticks to the road. I'm going to just kind of accelerate out just a little bit here. I'm going to tell you what, this is a great handling car, and I can pretty much say that it doesn't really take great skill to handle it. Wow, that is impressive. That is really impressive. Stepping on the loud pedal in the G70 is quite an experience, and I didn't even get to half throttle. You just start to ease into it, and it just gets on down the road. It is ultra impressive. I don't know how else to put it. And with the multiple driving modes that I showed you earlier in the video, well, depending on what you want to do, well, obviously you have a few options there but I can't help but drive in Sport Plus. That's just where I'd have to stay. That's where I'd live. That's how you get the most out of the vehicle. And I know everybody's different, but being a high performance enthusiast with a drag racing background, well, obviously I enjoy getting the most I can out of any vehicle that I drive. Let's so just give it a little bit of gas. Wow, that actually pushed us back in the seats. I wish Carrie was here, my videographer, because I tell you what, this would be some loud pedal to the floor, breathing exercise experience. And we're gonna wait until we get up the road here just a little bit. I'm gonna give the shifter paddles a little try and see how they work. All right, here we go. We're gonna get out on the road here and have a little bit of fun. I'm gonna tell you what, I am so impressed. So let's gear down a little bit. I can't really give the demonstration I want to with the shifter paddles here, but I can tell you what, I can tell just by cruising down the road as we are that the shifter paddles are very quick to respond to the touch of your hand. So let's see, we can downshift a little bit here. You know, I actually hear just a little bit of an exhaust crackle there. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna tell you what, this has to be the most cool, awesome, whatever you wanna call it car that I have done in a really long time. So I gotta say a special thanks to my buddy Wesley who's sitting here in the passenger seat. If you live in the shreveport Bossier area and you want to buy this G70, give him a call. Call the dealership, ask for Wesley Swayze. Wes, let me say it correctly, Wesley Swayze. And maybe you could ask for the dealership cooler some of you won't even know what I mean by that, but some of you will. <laughs> so if you do, you leave it in the comments. Tell me if you know what I mean by that. But I do have to say a special thanks to my friends at Genesis of Shreveport for loaning me this G70 for the day. This has been a joy to drive. And a special thanks to all of you for giving me the opportunity to give you a vision for your next vehicle. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out another of the videos that's on the screen right now, and I'll see you there.